Hello and welcome to Robocraft. I am the Conflict Nude and today I would like to share with you the tale of the Brave Little Ambulance. This is my Brave Little Ambulance. As you can see, it's a medic craft that is sort of looking like an ambulance. It might look pretty, uh, pretty weak there with its white blocks, but I'll have you know that uh, it does have some T1 and T2 armor under there. I'm tempted to change that out for some... Uh, I've got some T5 armor on the go there. I've got some T4 as well. I've got a bit of T6. I'm tempted to change some of that. Oh, yeah, my plan at some point is to cover it in T7 armor because uh, ambulances in the UK are yellow. They're kind of a high-vis yellow color. So I'm going to make a UK ambulance, meaning that the lights will probably be replaced with uh, these to be blue lights, much like the emergency lights again in the UK. But uh, I can't do that at the moment. The yellow blocks cost quite a bit, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 1,900 each. I have 43,000 RP, but I'm not really willing to spend all of that just yet. What I would like to do, though, is take the wheels off of this, because I don't want this to be a Tier 6 craft. I've played some games as a Tier 6 ambulance. It does not work all that well. I get completely obliterated. It's... Honestly, it's not much of a problem when I have friends with me. When I'm playing Robocraft, I usually have people with me to uh, help out, and I usually stick with them, but on my own, just trying to find someone to stick with and be useful to the team, going into Tier 6 with a craft like this, not really the best idea. Especially since the outside of it is quite squishy, and honestly, the inside of it is quite squishy. I mean, like I said, it's filled with T1 and T2 cubes, when really I should try and fill it with uh, T4 and T5. I think I'll play one game here, and if it doesn't go all that well, we can go ahead and strip out the insides of this and start filling it up with uh, better cubes. I'm actually really tempted to replace the entire underside with some heavily reinforced cubes as well, because this thing does have a tendency to roll over. But, uh, of course, leaving the sort of uh, dark grey trim there. The only reason I'm not entirely convinced about that idea is because those blocks are heavier than the other ones than the, uh, the white ones and the interior armor, so that sort of weighs it down. So, I, I don't know. I think removing the underside would mean it becomes top-heavy because this uh, bit up here would be, you know, well, this is still going to be heavy. The underside wouldn't be. It'd be more inclined to roll over is my concern, and I don't want that. So, I mean, we can work on it. It is something to work on. I have been spending a little bit of time re, you know, sort of refining this craft. It started as a joke and then I decided to keep it. And apparently I do have some T6 armor in there. I think I'm gonna get, I think that's, yeah, I'm gonna get three blocks of it. That's not exactly gonna do much. Uh, let's just go ahead and replace uh, that, nope, that block and that block. And uh, do that as well. And then just patch up the hole I made in the back of it. I have been tempted as well to take the back of it out and make it look like the doors are open and put a medic gun inside of it. But uh, I don't think it would actually be wide enough. Well, actually looking at it, I think it would just be wide enough. But that gun would kind of be useless. Especially since, you know, the main target of this ambulance is always the side. So they'd likely just shoot through and destroy it in a single shot. But anyway, enough talk. Let's get into a battle. All right, we have another guy on this team called uh, the Medic Box. One can only assume that he is going to be a medic. Uh, I could see, yeah, there's someone on the enemy team with the word medic in their name. Hopefully he's not going to be too much trouble. Uh, I imagine that's the Medic Box. Yes, it is. Do we have another medic on the team? No, so it's just the two of us. All right. His Medic Box looks significantly more kitted out than my ambulance. He's got, what, four guns on... Top two in the side, so it brings it up to six, and I think one at the front. So he's got, yeah, he's got seven medic guns there. All right, I'll leave him to. Uh, I'll let him lead the charge. Oh God, what the hell is he doing? Yeah, I'll let him lead the charge. He's also got a radar receiver on the back there. He's going left. I'm going to pop to the right. Oh, okay, this guy's going to get shot at if he's not careful. Maybe I'll stick up the middle. Oh, hold on a minute. You need attention over there. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, I'm here. There we go. You could notice, you might have noticed there the ambulance did try to tip over. It does that. It's quite the fan of rolling over. Uh, enemy craft down that way, being very careful not to get shot at. As I've said, the ambulance is quite squidgy. Uh, okay, easy does it. Easy does it. Right, he's got that covered. There's people in mid 
needing medical attention. There's a guy there and a guy there. I think that's an enemy craft on the left. Yeah, the enemy's sort of all over us here. Let's get you sorted out. There we go. That's you up to 100. Can I get the flyer? Uh, no, I cannot. That's an enemy flyer up there. I don't think I'm going to be able to touch it. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, this is bad. You get out of here, buddy. Ah, uh, this is going to be... This is going to damage me. Something's damaged me quite a bit. There we go. What the hell hit me? There's not much left of the medic. Good lord, the poor little ambulance has been absolutely obliterated there. Uh, enemy flyer still up above. Oh god, he is wrecking me. For all that's left of him as well. Good lord, have we still got the other medic? Or is he dead? No, I think the other medic is... Yeah, he is still alive. He's also in 100%. Uh, which is good. And I'm never going to get up to that guy. What the hell? That's a... Oh! Oh, I did not spot him. I did not spot him. I th he seems to be having some trouble, though. Interesting. Yeah, he's going to get one backwards thruster. All right, let's see what this medic gets up to. He's uh, got a guy behind him there. Take him out, take him out. He's the guy that... Yeah, there you go. That's the guy that absolutely crippled me. I probably should have went for this guy instead of running back to base to look for the other guy, but... Uh, I mean, that was my mistake. There we go, getting the base capture. It looks like uh, this guy here is patrolling the area, checking to see if any enemies are left. Oh, hello, we just killed one of the last enemies. Ah, this is our other medic. He appears to have a ski there. <laughs> he seems to be a little bit stuck as well. I don't think his, cra his craft either isn't working the way it's supposed to, or he's had a massive chunk of it knocked off. I don't know. Whatever the case, it seems that we've got the victory on this one, so... Yeah, that's good news. If only I'd survived, it would have been even better news. There we go. That's not so bad. We got the victory. Got some uh, bonus points there. That's my RP. Oh god, hello. Uh, that's my RP up to 52,000. I think it is probably a good idea to go in and tear out the inside of this and reinforce it. I am just trying to work out the best way to do that. I think it might just be best to tear out the back a little bit. We can put this back later. Um, but just go in and very carefully, one block at a time, remove all of the armor that's just not very good. My only worry is that this might push the craft into uh, tier 6 again if I replace all of this with some higher tier armor. But uh, that might end up being one of those things that just has to happen. Also, I've just noticed that, yeah, that could probably be, a lot of this could easily be replaced as well, I think. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the insides, the wheel arches being colored. That's not exactly somewhere that people are going to be looking all that often anyway, so... We'll have the inside of the wheel archers uh, probably colored one thing or other. That should uh, provide a little bit more reinforcement as well. There's a lot in here, but there's a, I'm also noticing there's a lot of empty space too. Like, all of this is just empty. I could, if I really wanted to. Oh, I've just deleted the bloody chair. Yeah, I could, if I really wanted to, go ahead and... Uh, completely fill this with armor, but I don't know that that would necessarily be the best idea. Let's see, so it's more or less empty. I can take out uh, that column there. I assume I can take that out. Can I take these out? Yes, I can. All right, so that's it completely hollow. Um, I'm trying to work out the best place to put the pilot seat, to be honest. I'm thinking probably where I had it is uh, probably for the best. So let's go ahead. I mean, I could put a radar in here as well. I think a radar jammer might be a great idea to have in here. That that might make a good bit of sense. I could put it on the back, actually. Or just up there. Yeah, we'll put a radar jammer there so I'm a little bit harder for the enemies to find. And we'll go ahead and start reinforcing the inside of this with uh, some T4 cubes. I think I'll use the... I'm going to use the T5s for the wheel arches just so that... I mean, I know I said it doesn't matter what the wheel arches look like, but I don't want them to look ridiculous. Um, so let's have a look. What way would that have to work? If I do, um, yeah, do that, I can sort of have it going up over the wheels, which looks pretty decent. There we go. That works. All right, and then we just fill in the spaces with the pink blocks there. Alright, so that should nicely reinforce those bits. I'll just do the same down the middle, and we'll do the same to the back wheels as well. 
I've only got seven of these left, so what I'll do is line either side like that, and then the top bit here can just go ahead and be, uh, we'll do that, because why not, I suppose. Alright, so that's the wheel arches nicely reinforced, I suppose. I mean, I've got eight of these, so if I space these out a little bit, um, so what, four on either side? Well, that's three on either side there, so do that. That leaves us with two left over. We'll put those just at the front there, and that's just some... That's just spaced about the place to uh, help a little bit. It looks like the rest of the reinforcement's going to be from these orange blocks, which is perfectly fine. It's better than the T2 and, what was it, T1 blocks that we had in here before, so it'll certainly help anyway. All right, that seems nicely reinforced. The front is still the weakest part of the craft, unfortunately, but I don't think there's much I can really do about that. I mean, well, now that I think about it, I could sort of do this and... Uh, Go in with some... We'll go in with these, because why not? If we do that, and then slope these against the window, does that actually... How does that look through the window? It still looks like glass. It doesn't look completely blocked up the way it actually is, so that's okay. That'll reinforce that. Uh, obviously, the pilot won't be able to see out, but you don't actually need to see out as a pilot. There we go. So that's that nicely reinforced. That does the job. All right, now let's go ahead and put the pilot seat in. Uh, we'll just put it... I don't know where to put it. I'm thinking nearer the... I think the middle, so we can surround it with blocks and have it nicely uh, nicely enclosed. I realize I have ran out of both the uh, the blocks I was using there, so... I'm going to have to resort to the T3 cubes for a while by the looks of it. But that's all right. That's uh, another use of the various cubes. As long as we can fill this up with better armor than what we had, I'm not too concerned. Let's go ahead and just line this up again. Uh, where were the windows? I think they were yeah, there and there. So leave that little space. Just fly in and have a little bit of a look around. And I think we'll just go ahead and fill this up, to be honest. Yeah, we'll just get it filled up. We'll put the glass in. Uh, right away. And I think I'll just block up the windows with the light blue block there. And it shouldn't look too ridiculous through the glass. No. I mean, it's it's clearly got something there, but it doesn't look like it's completely blocked up. So, it'll do the job. This should nicely reinforce the ambulance and maybe make it a little bit harder to uh, obliterate. Not so much with plasma cannons, but with SMGs at least, it'll be harder to take down, especially since it's several layers thick at this point. I mean, this is actually more packed in than the uh, kind of generation one of this ambulance. So, you know, this, this is something, all right. Let's see if I can actually get out of here, though. Um, can I put some blocks above? Yes, I can. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's some ridiculous reinforcement there that I just don't see... I don't see a lot of things getting through that. Yeah, that's that's a pretty tough little ambulance there. It's still a tier 5 as well, so it'll serve its purpose well. I'm quite excited to take this back out in the battlefield now. Here we go. I'm not seeing anyone with medic in their name, so... I mean, that's potentially good. I don't want to be the only medic on the team, but as long as there's no medics in the enemy team, we're okay. Uh, it's looking like I'm going to be the only medic on the team. That's not ideal. Um, I need to find someone to stick with, I suppose. Any other medic? Oh, we do have another medic. He's a flyer as well. Alright, uh, let's pop over... I don't know where to pop to. Uh, I'll go over this guy's looking at me. That happens a lot. A lot of people look at the ambulance and get very confused. Is there Am I seeing an ambulance? Yes. Oh god, hello. Do you mind? Let's pop down this way. Probably not my best idea, especially since a lot of the enemies are going to be going this way. But I'm going to pop down the middle and uh, hope for the best, I suppose, and try not to flip over as well. Uh, where are people dying? Oh, that guy's dying. Okay, this is a bad idea. I've got some guys behind me. That's another medic, actually. Uh, is that a third medic, then? No, no, he is a, he is a hover. Uh, he is a hover. Okay, okay. Um, SMG Chank just dead ahead. Oh, God. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. You're the fighter. You go deal with it. Oh, Jesus. Can I hit him? Let me hit him. There we go. Get some damage on the go. Get me healed. Get some heals on me, please. Thank you. You could use some heals as well. There we go. Yeah, the medic seems to be holding up a little bit better. 
previous generation ambulance would have been uh, torn apart there. So it seems that uh, the brave little ambulance... Oh god, that's... Oh, he's upside down. He is upside down. Let's F him up. F him up completely. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, he's flipped. This is bad. There we go. I didn't get the kill, but I'm okay with that. There's another guy flipping up there. That's an enemy medic, actually. Looks to have shields. I'm going to go after him. I'm going after that guy. Let's see. Anyone following me? Have I got a medic behind me? I do still have a medic behind me. Perfect. Hello. Time to die. Oh, he's getting torn to shreds. Oh, God. Okay. What happened? What happened? Why have I flipped and why are the enemy capturing our base? Uh, there we go. I'm back in my wheels. No, I'm not. Uh, easy. There we go. Enemy's capturing base. Let's... Uh, oh, I turned chat off. I can't talk. Damn it. We need to get back to our base, though. Otherwise, we've lost this. There's only four of them left. We've only lost two people, so we can do this. As long as someone gets back there quickly and gets a hit on them, we can do this. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get someone back there. I think we'll be able to do it. This guy here is... Uh, He's got some plasma cannons there. Let's get some heals on him, actually. I didn't notice he was injured. Oh, actually, I think we're doing... Yeah, here we go. Get some fire on the go, buddy. Rack them. Absolutely rack them. Go on. There we go. This is what we need to be seeing. They have a medic in there. I'm not going to be dealing with him, because he will just... I mean, I'll get wrecked. Uh, oh, God. Move, 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 move. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not. He's dead. To hell with that. I'm hitting these guys. I'm just going to hit them. Not much else I can do. I'm going after him. Going after him. There we go. There we go. I got a kill in that as well. Seems the uh, the brave little ambulance definitely holding up a good bit better. Able to take a bit of a beating this time around. I'm quite happy with that. Good bit of RP. All right, and ranked battles are running, so let's jump into another one. Not really seeing so, uh, too much here. Not seeing anything that looks like a medic, so... Oh, we do have a medic over there, though. That's good. Okay. Do you have any other ones? Seems that not everyone's loaded. Uh, we do have one other medic. So I'm going to stick with him. It seems medics sticking together is a very good idea. Let's pop off this way, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You and your bloody Tesla blade. Alright. Seems most of the team is heading down this. What are you doing? Seems most of the team is heading down this way. Is the other medic still behind? Yes, he is. Alright. Let's keep rolling out. Let's just roll on out. And hope for the best. This could go badly. But, uh, I'm fair. Why am I leading the charge? I'm a fucking ambulance. Why am I leading the charge? This is not a good place for me to be. I will die. If a plasma cannon hits me, I mean, I know I'm reinforced now, but I'll still die. I also really feel like I should probably take those heavy blocks off the top of the ambulance. Uh, I don't know. At some point or other, I'm going to have to redesign this to make it a good bit better. Also, you get back here. You're injured. There we go, that's you sorted out. Good lord, you're quick to heal. Again, I, I suppose there's not much to you, but you're bloody quick to heal. Alright, one of them's down, one of us is down. There seems to be none of them taking this side, which is worrying. Makes me think that most of the enemy's probably away down the opposite side of the map. Let's not roll over. Oh, please hit him. Oh god, no. Okay, my steering is gone. Uh, I need a medic. I really need a medic. I've got chat off. God damn it. Oh, here he is. Come on. Come on. Get the heal on me. Get the heal on me. Thank you kindly. Where's my wheels? Where are my wheels? Please come back. There we go. Alright, let's move. Okay. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Let's get some heals in you. Let's keep you alive. Uh, enemy. Craft. Right there. Get some damage on him. F him up. F him up. Medics are here to show you who's it, who's in town, bro. I, what the hell am I talking about? Uh, all right, let's start taking their base. Can we just acknowledge that there's two medics uh, on this push here, taking the enemy base. Was someone getting healed? Oh, God. What happened to you? There we go. Let's get you sorted out. Oh, God, no. Oh, dear. We're in a, we're in a bad place. We need this guy to get back on his feet so we can attack them. There's an enemy craft away over yonder. Uh, he looks to be dealing with them. Oh, the enemy's capturing our base as well. We've got no one back there. There's more of the enemy than there is of us. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. 
The enemy has more people on our capture point than we have on theirs, meaning they're going to get the victory. Oh god, my steering's gone again. Heal me. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, the enemy's got the victory on this one, but that's alright. The point of this isn't necessarily to get the victory, it's to prove that my medic craft is actually uh, somewhat functional. Which it certainly seems to be in this particular case. So uh, let's get this guy back on his feet. There we go. Do you need healed? No, I think we're good. We're good! I mean, we didn't win. We didn't win the fight, but we'll win the war. And I'll make sure that we win the war and that everyone's alive to see it. And for a defeat, to be honest, that's not too bad. That's a decent bit of RP. 63,000 RP in total. I'm okay with that. What I'm actually going to do is spend all of that on some T7 armored cubes. See how many of those I can get. I get 33 of them. That's maybe enough to cover one side of... Uh, maybe enough to cover one side of this. What's that? So five... Uh, what's that? Nine... Uh, nine... Twelve... Uh, Fifteen... Sixteen... Yeah, it'd be enough to cover one side, so another heap of battles and we can slowly start turning this into a UK ambulance. If you don't know what I'm talking about, by the way, ambulances, like I said, are yellow in the UK. Google it. Just Google UK ambulance and uh, you'll get an idea of what they look like. I think that's what I'm going to slowly build this into. People will be very confused. Most people don't. I don't know. I don't know what ambulances look like in the rest of the world. I went for the traditional white with the red cross thing. But uh, I think since I want to be able to go into higher tier battles, going for some T7 armor, making it a, uh, a UK ambulance, going for some blue lights, all of that, I think it will uh, I think it'll look better. So with that in mind, folks, I'm going to leave it there for today. We, uh, we will be revisiting the ambulance at some point, probably when I have enough uh, to get enough to completely replace all of it and then we'll roll it out again and see exactly how it does. What I would like to do, though, is just... Actually, no, I like that light where it is. I was thinking I might move it into that space, but that's a bit too close together, so... I, I think it works there. It can just stay in that little spot. It doesn't really matter where the lights are. Those are just there for the uh, cosmetic touch. If I want to add more to this, I'll just take the lights off of it. But for the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I've been the Conflict Nerd. This has been Robocraft, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.